Howdy, Possum Patty here, and I'm working on my Gnomes and Nature Journal. I was thinking about putting something really fun on the first page as an introduction to the journal, and I was thinking about using this page here, where the gnome is bowing to the birds. So I'm going to see if I can somehow cut this out and make it fit on my first page and design my first page. Okay, now this is just a little bit scary. I am taking my knife to my wonderful gnome book. Cutting out my first page. I'm going to be saving this cover with the wonderful gold gnome on it. And I think I'm going to make a lap journal because this is very big. So I'm going to be using this cover for a lap journal and I'm using this wildlife book for my gnome journal. Well, they'll both be gnome journals, but two different kinds. Okay, I cut this page down to size. I rescued one bird that I can use on something else. And I think what I might do is to rip this around like this, around this bird, and put it on this page like a pocket. I could sew it on or glue it on. And then I can put this bird on the backing here. And then I'm going to make something to put in the pocket. My very first page in the Gnomes and Nature book is done. It was quite simple. All I did was rip out part of the picture so that it would fit onto the page. I sewed it with the sewing machine and went around. I put some ink around the edges and I used a very dark brown. This is a very old stamping up chocolate chip ink pad. That's got to be over 10 years old. And the part of the picture that I ripped off, I took this little bird and tore around the edges and used some of the ink around the edges on that little bird. I also put some of that chocolate chip around the edges of the page. Now inside the pocket, I put a card. And this is just made from the same paper that the pages are made from, and that's just a plain vanilla paper, an off-white paper. On this side of the journaling card, what I did was I took a piece of notebook paper, just plain notebook paper like this, and I painted it with watercolors. I put phthalo blue first. And over the phthalo blue, I put a shimmery lighter blue. So it's got just a little bit of shine and shimmer to it. And then I took a sparkly pen, which is over here. I probably got this at a tag sale maybe five years ago or so. Just been sitting in the drawer. And I took the sparkly pen and just drew over the lines of the notebook paper with a sparkly blue ink. And I did not use a ruler because I wanted them to look just a little bit uneven. I wanted them to look somewhat hand-drawn. And I took the sparkly pen and I went all the way around the edge with it also. And then I fussy cut a little butterfly and a little mushroom off of the page that I was that I cut out from the front of the book. Did some fussy cutting there. And on the back of the journal card, I really wanted to put the word gnomes at the beginning of the journal. So I cut that out and I also used this sparkly pen to go around the edges and two of the birds from that same page glued them down on the card and went around the edges with a sparkly blue pen. And in the background, I just used a piece of scrapbooking paper with this nice blue stripe. <clears throat> the reason I used the blue was just to 
pick up on the blue of his coat. Give the page a little bit more color. I like how there's a little red in the bird and his hat and a little bit of blue and some of the yellow and yellow in the background. This is like a primary color scheme with the red, yellow, and the blue. Also, I like the way the little blue eyes on this butterfly sort of match the paper and how the red mushroom is a contrast but yet matches his little hat. So there's my first page, a pocket with a journaling card. I like the blue sticking up just a little bit and a little butterfly flying out of the pocket there. So I was wondering what I would do next and I was flipping through the book and I got a cat in my lap again. She's always here when I'm talking to the camera. And on the very last page, I just love this picture of the gnome. Waving goodbye in the sunset. So I think I'm going to jump right to the last page and make a page with this gnome waving goodbye. So then I'll have my very first page of the gnome bowing. And that's kind of like the hello page. And then I'll have my very last page with a gnome waving goodbye. All I did was trim down the page to fit the page in my journal. I did a little rippy edge and I sewed it as a pocket. I made a little thumb hole here. I went around the edge with the uh, chocolate chip brown ink and I made a journaling card to go inside. And what I did first was take the strip that I cut off from here and paste it on the card. Now this is the same paper that the pages are made out of. I put of. a little bit of splashy watercolors to sort of mimic the colors that were on the page. And I took a sparkly pen and I drew lines because this is a journaling card. I don't have a roundy edge hole punch, but I do have one that's got this fancy little edge. I bought it at a flea market. I think it's a Martha Stewart hole punch. And it was pretty cheap because I bought it at the flea market. So I did that to both of the corners. And on this side I put a nature scene this is sort of the woods in the uh, early winter or late winter when there's no snow and a little owl sitting on a branch of a tree. And this is going to slip into the pocket. And you can see a little bit of the picture pokes out on the card like so. So this is the last page with the little gnome waving goodbye. And I wanted to mimic a pocket in a journaling card like I did on the first page. So there you have it, my first page and my last page in my gnome journal done. So now there's, what, about 46 pages in the middle to go? Happy journaling. Bye-bye now.